Hi friends, welcome back to Advanced PHP tutorial. We have already discussed brief about Advanced PHP, why we will use this and what is the properties of Advanced PHP. And last day we got some idea about MVC concept. Okay, so from today we will start Advanced PHP concept in deep. Okay, so first thing which I will start is class and object okay so this is the main basics property of advanced php so why we learn class and object together because that are related each other strongly okay so let's start and this is my php file and here we will create a class and we will explain each things and we will create object and we will connect relations between class and object so to create a class we have a keyword that is class okay so to create any class we need to first write the class keyword and after that the name of the class suppose I am writing the class name is fruit okay so just curly braces here so this is the structure of class so we need to write the keyword that is class and the name of the class that is fruit and after that we need to use the curly braces and inside the curly braces we will write everything which we need inside this class so basically what is class basically class is a kind of blueprint or you can say a template that describes the methods and variables inside it means inside the class we can define some methods and we can define any properties so basically the class have properties and class have methods and if you ask what is object basically object is the instance of a class we will create an object to use the class property so if you want to create methods or properties from outside of the class we need to create an object of this class and using this object we can call the methods or properties okay so let's create some properties and we can understand the more better so here i am creating properties that is suppose this name so before that write here public so public is basically the access specifier we have other kind of access specifier basically we will use public to access from outside of the class and we can use this from outside of the class okay so basically this is the properties of a class so we can say dollar name is the property of the fruit class and if you want to create a method suppose i am creating a function to say the name so right here set and name i am passing the argument that is i am using the class properties so here i am using this and here we can write this name equal to dollar name so basically this is the methods and we can say this is the class method so now if you want any example what is class and what is object so we can say suppose uh, the class is animal and we can say the tiger giraffe cat dog whatever we can say this is the class properties okay so if you take another example suppose in the college we have a teacher student we have chalk duster and many things here you can say the student is the class methods you can say the teacher is a class methods here you can say the chalk or duster is the class properties okay so here i am declaring a dollar name is the class property and set name is a function that is the class method to create any method or you can say to create any function we need to use the function keyword and what about the dollar this so basically this is refers to the current object so here the object is name 
and is only available inside the method okay so this is the method block so we can write this inside here here inside the class we are setting the name so suppose i want to get the name so how we can get this so write a function and create a get name and the name will be access from this so just return from here return this name so here name is the class property so we can use these things from inside the class okay so let's create a object okay so here you can see the class properties and methods and i only told you to use the class property we need to use the object so here create object suppose dollar obj is the object new and name of the class so here my class name is fruit okay so here my object name is dollar obj so now we can get access of all the properties and methods using the dollar obj so let's check so here inside the dollar obj i am calling the method that is first set name so here i am calling the method set name and i am passing a parameter that is i am writing any fruit name suppose i am writing mango okay so here if we call the set name it will set the name inside this function and to get the output we need to call the get name so let's check first what happened if we call this program first so just go to the browser write localhost and advanced php so here you can see the blank page so just check the page is working or not so echo hello okay so if you run this we can say the output the hello okay so here i am setting the name but to display what i have set it we need to call the get name method so now to display the output we need to call the object with the method name so we need to call the get name method okay so using get name method will get the output okay so just echo these things and go to the browser and refresh the page so here we can say the mango so basically the mango is coming from get name method and before calling the get name method we already call the set name method and here we are setting the name is mango and we will get the output from the get name that is mango so let's cool so here we can understand how to call a object so let's create another object so here just copy and paste it here so i am removing these things for now and here i am creating another object that is obj2 and setting the name that is suppose orange okay and calling the object two okay so if you refresh this page we can see the two output the from first one will get a mango and for second one we will get orange so just refresh this so we can see the output from these two methods that is mango and orange so now we can understand how to create a class and what is the property and what is class methods what is the use of these and how to create an object and how to how to call the class methods from the object okay so if you have any queries about this video don't forget to comment and next day we'll going to show you another object oriented property that is constructor so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye